What's going on guys? Welcome to a let's play slash review discussion of Days Gone. I'm John Opeck and I have finished this game. I'm about to take out a horde as you can see in front of you. I've loaded an older save to show you this because it's a pretty cool moment. But you can see here probably about 300 freaks or freakers as some might call them. Uh, I've tried to mark a few of them but there's only so many you can do that with. I'm examining the area for some flammable uh, environmental help this is a great way to take out big areas of zombies but I'm going to double this up as a review discussion as well and you might be wondering what that means as I throw this attractor to bring the zombies or the freaks to where I want them to be but I guess a review in my book is a nuanced, carefully written, carefully edited critique of a video game. Whereas this review discussion, watch this, I'm going to go boom. Oh, just a few. Uh, a review discussion is just me talking about this game as I play it and share some thoughts. And I'm going to combine that with this Let's Play because I guess Sony Bend has also cut some corners <laughs> with this game and combined... Uh, a zombie game with a, a biker story, but more on that later. I've got the, uh, the freaks have seen where I am. I'm gonna run away. This is my favorite strategy. Take out as many as you can while they're stationary and then kind of just get some space. Throw a few explosives. That does a pretty good job to weed it out. I'm almost down to halfway. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, I'm off again. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Take that. Um, the Chicago Chopper is my weapon of choice. You can see it's pretty deadly and you can take out a good few of them at once. Nothing beats the um, Napalm Mullet hit though. Mullet Tom. Uh, where am I going? Okay, we've got some more explosive environments here to make the most of. This one here, if I can slow time down. Oop, now I can't see it. What else have I got? I'm enjoying this game though, I should say. I'll take out a few of these dudes. I really liked it. I thought that the uh, this particular part of it, the horde, was uh, pretty unique to uh, video games. I don't remember ever taking out so many enemies on screen at once. People have talked about that a lot. I think I know what I'm going to do here. This should take out a few freaks. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I love it when a plan comes together. So you can see there's a lot of different ways you can approach this and it keeps things interesting. The setting, the Oregon setting is really well realized. There's no real uh, big areas that are similar to each other, I think. They've done a good job of making the huge map stand out. Um, but diverse, I guess, is the word I would use. There's not many left now. I'm getting to the end. They're not quite as threatening as they were before. And by this point, I'm so overpowered that uh, I'd, it would take a, a real big screw up to fall victim to this horde at this point in the game. But they are very ominous earlier on. It's kind of almost end game content as far as the hordes go. And I think that uh, it would have been nice if we could have a bit of this fun earlier in the game. It is such a long game. Probably. I reckon almost 50 hours for me. This might take out the last few. Um, but as I said, I have really enjoyed it. I think people have been quite harsh on it. And it does, has cut a lot of corners, which I mentioned earlier. Um, some animations during the... Oops. That's not the last one. Where is he? There's some animations where they, you know, they'll hide the face, they'll obscure the there lip syncing. And that, Oof. my friend, is all of That's it. Jesus. All right, what a rush! Uh, I'm going to talk over this just in case people are worried about some story spoilers. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of um, visual uh, glitches and just quests that break sometimes, or random events that don't seem to eventuate into anything that you come across. But they're all they're minor gripes to me. I think that for the most part, it's an enjoyable experience. 
Uh, the story's like it's not amazing, but I was quite interested in Deacon. I like the character design. I love the range of weapons. You can see my crafted baseball bat with the saw blade. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of um, scavenging and. I think that there's a good emphasis on that. It, it does get a lot better as the game goes on and you can carry a lot more of the resources. It, at the start, I found you were kind of filling out your inventory way too soon and that de-incentivized me from going exploring and, um, you know, scavenging cars and opening the, you know, boot, the trunk, the hood, whatever, and, and finding parts. But uh, as I'm collecting all of these swarmer ears to cash in for respect at the camps I, I do like the respect system it feels really slow to to build that up um which unlocks a lot of the uh abilities and upgrades for your bikes and the, the guns and different things like that so yeah i mean it's very video gamey that seems like a you know a statement that you can say <laughs> about this type of game but there's a lot of things that they've kind of just thrown in there to give it that that longer appeal, like the branching storylines that probably don't need to be in there. I think almost the whole first third of the game could almost be cut out because as much as I've enjoyed the experience, it does feel very long. And getting to this point where you feel quite powerful and like you can have a lot of fun with the hordes, it just, it's taken so long to get there. And I think a lot of people won't reach this far with... Um, with the other games that are coming out at the moment and they might come back to it uh, when they see that I think that you know most people seem to be pretty up on the game but you know this uh, this part of it is is quite fun I like the maneuvering the motorbike and upgrading it and doing what you can with that it's um, it controls fairly well um, I think it's it's not like those GTA bikes where you uh, hit one thing and you go flying. Ready to do some screaming? Um, well, there's a scream. So yeah, this is a screamer somewhere, apparently Deacon's seen. And there's a good variety in the, the enemies as far as... You've got your run-of-the-mill swarmers, but then there's some who will attract others with screaming. There's some more berserker-type ones and different powerful zombies and zombie animals as well later in the game. I keep saying zombies, but they're not undead. They're infected. That's the distinction. Who's this guy? So this here is a uh, example of one of the more powerful freakers, but he's no match for this gun. So yeah, that's my review discussion of one. Keep it locked to 8bit.net.